Now, this is something you won't see on the beautiful roads of Napa Valley or anywhere in the U.S. It's the 2014 Scirocco. Come on over here, Nicole. And with me today, since Nathan is at the Corolla Lounge, is our technology editor, Nicole Wakeland. And hey. Nicole, tell them about what we got here. Well, this is pretty exciting. We kind of fought off other journalists. We did. Maybe kind of sorted to get the keys for this one. This is a Scirocco. It's actually got a thing on there that says European vehicle. Like, it's not all specced out for us to be driving, but we're driving it anyway. So, even though we're not in Europe, we're here in California. Coming up next, a quick take on the 2014 Scirocco. Now, Nicole, when I was in college, my buddy had one of these, so I drove it everywhere. And I can't <laughs> believe I'm about to lift the hood on one that's mm. only from Europe, but here in the States. Tell them what's under the hood. You got a two liter engine. It has 265 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. And it has a dual clutch, six speed automatic transmission. And VW says it will do zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. We're gonna try that out. We're gonna try it out <laughs> if we can find a bit of straight road. We only have about 10 minutes to drive this car. So let's go see if we can match those numbers. Nicole, before we take this for a ride, we yeah. have to listen to what it sounds like. So okay. start it up, man. Good, now flip the throttle. One more. Is that as full as she'll go? That's as full as she'll go. Yeah, and once again, the computer drat. Darn that Darn computer. Darn that computer keeps us from getting the full sound, but let's see what it drives like. You know, Nicole, I have a love-hate relationship with German manufacturers. I love the products that they build, mm -hmm. but I hate the fact that we don't get them or we get them second, right? Yeah. What is it about us being second-class citizen? Why doesn't Volkswagen give us these magnificent vehicles? I don't know. See, I'm going to go on it that they think we're such first-class citizens. They want to make sure it's absolutely, positively perfect before they bring it over here. That's a great way to look at it. And I did talk to the VW people and they said, Americans don't like hatchbacks. And I'm like, damn, dude, I love hatchbacks. I love this car. This is a, just a sexy, svelte, um, fast, fun, and luxurious car. Now, I have, um, you have a spec sheet on it? I have a spec sheet in my back pocket. All right, see how much this bad boy costs in Europe. Okay, it might so, have to do with price. It might have to do with price, you think? Yeah, I think. Okay, so if this were in Europe with American dollars, the base on this, you ready, folks? Yeah. $38,720. Wow, so, and this is, of course, the top of the line, so right. we're probably looking at, in euros, at least, what, 35, 40,000? You guys in Europe will know that. Yep. So it translates to $50,000 in America. That's a lot for a car. That's a lot for a hatchback, and, and they're right. Americans look at hatchback as being economy cars, not necessarily as being fast sports cars, which this is. But you know, I think with this one, given the car that it is and how much people want this car over here, you would be surprised how many people would shell out $50,000 for yeah. this. Yes, and you know, it's basically a two-door, uh, low-roof Golf uh, GTI. Right. Right? That's really what this is. So yes. it's based on the same engine. It's based on the same uh, platform. Uh, it's got the basically the same suspension tuning as the uh, GTI. What it doesn't have is a lot more room in the back because they've made it sexy versus practical. <laughs> practical. Who wants, who wants practical on a hot little hatchback? Exactly. The two words don't go together. Yeah, and then in a way, this is also a premium car in Europe, and Volkswagen here is a, kind of a consumer car. It's not right. a premium brand, and it's harder to sell a premium brand when um, you don't have that reputation. They're working on it, though. They're working on Slowly it. Slowly but surely. Now all we got to do is find a straight bit of road where we can actually see if this will go 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds. We will find one. We will find one. And, uh, you know, they said that some of the journalists yesterday uh, got speeding tickets. You're so, going to get a ticket, Roman? <laughs> It'd be worth it. Driving this, this is the time to get a ticket. Drive this, get the ticket. I need, I need my license to do my job. All right, I'm going to accelerate my first time. This is like forbidden fruit. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Dual clutch. Might as well put it in sport mode. Oh yeah. That's nice. Oh, 
Oh, did you hear that backfire? <laughs> awesome. Oh, come on, VW, bring this here. Why are you keeping all the goodies to yourself? It's just not fair. Oh, look at that. That engine is staying right in the torque curve where it's supposed to be. Check this out, Nicole. 300 kilometers top speed on the Speedo. Will it do that? Nice. Uh, let's find out. <laughs> yeah, then I will definitely lose my license. I'm betting this is restricted to that German 150-ish speed. Probably, yep. Where are the autobahns here in California? There are no autobahns here in California. No autobahns anywhere here in the U.S. And maybe that's the point. Maybe they're like, hey, you know, you don't have, you don't have the roads for these kinds of cars. Maybe we could do the other way around. Bring the cars, we'll make the roads. Do you think that? No. But no? do we have the money? And that is the question. And the answer there is, hell yeah. Yes. Um, but then the one we have here being the Scirocco R, you know, has the more performance, the bigger brakes, the bigger sway bars. And why won't you bring that here? Oh, we're trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying Please my best. Please bring that here. I'm trying. I got the Golf R a couple years ago, and we keep trying. You know, I heard that Americans don't like hatchbacks. And I'm on record as saying, I love hatchbacks. I love fast hatchbacks. Yeah. And specifically, I love that. I had yeah. that car. Uh, a friend of mine had it in college, and I remember some of my best moments driving that car. Oh, yeah. And there's a long history of, you know, Scirocco's, and it's just painful to see it here and not be able to actually get it and actually own it. Yeah, no, we're, we're definitely trying. I mean, we have direction from up top to uh, to investigate and try and bring it. Right, Nicole, the road opens up here. I've got the Solo DL set up, and this is a very impromptu zero to 60. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be nowhere near. What did they say? Shoot, I didn't have it. 7.3. I think it was 7.3. No, it no, wasn't 7.3. What point. was You're it? Close. I don't even know. Well, let's find out. Here we 5. go. 5.8. 5.8. 5. 8. 8. All right, I'm just going to floor it. I've got the... Zero to 62. Yep, yep. That's a little bit uh, different than this. Here we go. Ready? Whoa, turbo lag. There comes the power. And here's 60 right there. Not bad. Well, Not bad at all. Look at this. Check it out. 6.3. Not 6 .3. too shabby. Now, considering that there are two of us in here. Yes. And, uh, you know, that was very impromptu and very off the cuff. I'm yes. impressed. That was not bad. Yeah, that this will, this nice will definitely too. do 5.8, if not faster. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but you know what? This car's not about straight line speed. It's about what it's like in the twisties. Twisty turnies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what that's Let's like. Let's do more of that. All right, more of that. <laughs> I was doing 140 kilometers, whatever that means. That's awesome. <laughs> what did you do in California? I got arrested. Oh, it's so speed. tight. Oh my god, it is fun. Oh, Volkswagen, please bring this car. Oh, I better slow oh, down. You yeah. should uh, be responsible and grown up and stuff. I know. That was, uh, my heart is pounding. That was good, <laughs> Nicole. That was way that good. That was very nice. Cool. Now that is a lot of fun. Yes. And since we're here in California, we're here at the full line. Mm -hmm. So we have every Volkswagen at our disposal, including the new Mark 7 Golf GTI and TDI, which we'll be doing what? Next on the Fast Lane Car. See you next time and come back for more Volkswagens that we don't get yet. You know, Nicole, this is a very expensive part of California, right? Yes. This is where all the vineyards are. Very shishi. Very shishi. A lot of, I've seen Ferraris, I've seen Porsches. How many brand new Scirocco's do you think are out here? <laughs> Only one. Only and one. we've got it. And we've got it. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm already doing 100 kilometers. <laughs> the speed limit sign said something in. Not that many. No, no. <laughs> oh, this is just magnificent. You know, I like it because I've obviously had the pleasure to drive the GTI and even the Golf R, uh, but this just feels a lot more cozy, a lot more kind of like a, you know, well-fitting suit. It's, it's, um, 
the right size for a sports car. Those cars are very practical. You can put the whole family in them. This one, there's hardly any room in the back. Probably throw some kids back there. Maybe. Listen to that engine match revs. Oh, listen there to it the is again. Exhaust. Listen to that turbo spool up. Oh. The sound of this thing is just fantastic. It is a car you sit down and you go, I don't care how much it costs. Give me a panel sign on the dotted line. I want to drive a car that sounds like this. And it's completely flat going around these turns. I have a great sense for what the road is doing. I know exactly where I'm placing the front wheels. You know, the ride is comfortable yet firm, which is that kind of mark of a great sports car. And it makes me want to drive fast. Of course, I'm Roman's doing 60. Yeah, 65, <laughs> 70 kilometers. And, oh yeah, gosh, I like that. I don't even mind the fact that this is the um, automatic. It's fine. It's all good. And we've got the only brand new Scirocco. Do we have to bring it back? Will they notice if we just keep driving this? We're supposed to go for 10 minutes. We've already had it for like a half hour. Just, they don't have to know that. Yeah, now they're we'll say we got lost. We, we got lost. We got lost. We're it's confusing we? up here. Where are we? My God. We'll never find our way back. How did we get all the way to Idaho? <laughs>